assalamu alaikum dear students uh, i hope everyone is uh, fine alhamdulillah so let's uh, begin our today's class so today we will solve a very interesting problem this is a problem regarding uh, equation solving so uh, let's uh, read the question first that is a b c are three distinct real numbers so there are three real numbers where a plus one divided by b equals to b plus one by c equals to c plus one by a now the question is what is the product of the absolute values of a b c so this actually means uh, if you make the absolute value of a b and c that means you are only considering the positive value of a b and c so while considering the positive value of a b c and if you product the positive values of a b c then you will also get a positive number right so you can just uh, uh, think about like this so the product of a b c it can be positive or negative so if uh, two numbers are negative out of a b and c there should be a negative value right now if you just uh, do the modulus or absolute function here so you will get the positive value so this is actually asked in the question so you have to, we have to find out the uh, product of abc then you will do the absolute function okay so uh, let's uh, write the questions uh, write the equations like uh, a plus 1 divided by b so this is equals to sorry a plus 1 by b this should be a plus 1 by b there is no bracket here right that means the according to the question if i go if i want to write uh, so i need to write in this way that is a plus uh, 1 by b this is equals to b plus 1 by c and uh, so b plus 1 by c uh, this is also equals to c plus 1 by a so let's uh, just do the things uh, for these two these two equation at first so if you try to do it and uh, let's uh, take the a and b in one side and the fraction in on another side so you'll get uh, 1 by c minus 1 by b so if you do the calculation that is cb and on the upper side you have b minus c right and do the same thing for uh, let's uh, number it this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 we have done for 1 and 2 now let's do the same thing for 2 and 3 so if you do the same thing for 2 and 3 you will get actually uh, b minus c so when we have considered a b that is a minus b so the, there is b and c so we will have b minus c and since b minus c then you will get a c so there is a and there is c so a c will be in, as denominator and on the upper side uh, there should be uh, c minus a right there should be c minus a and <coughs> let's do the same thing for one and three if you do the same thing from one and three you will get uh, c minus a which is equals to uh, a b and uh, a minus b right so if you just uh, give them number of equations uh, let's uh, remove this and write b minus c okay change the color it has been here we are writing with blue that is b minus c by cb and remove it so this is our equation one let's consider it and this is the equation two and this is equation three now we have to find out actually abc so we have to get abc uh, in any ways by doing some uh, by implementing some our concepts and our actually uh, methods of uh, doing uh, equation solving so how do you actually get abc so you can see that uh, in the denominator we have cb ab and ac if you just multiply all of them you'll actually get 2c and 2b and you can see 2a so if you multiply cb times ac times ab you will get abc whole square right so we, we just needed abc so, but we got abc whole square there is no problem we can root or we can root, root we can make a square root of it right okay so to do this let's uh, multiply the equation one uh, two and three so i think in that case you will uh, get a solution so b minus c by cb so this was like a minus b and times okay 
I will do these things on the right side. So B minus C by C B, uh, this should be equals to C minus A by A C, C minus A by A C, which is times uh, A minus B by A B, and all of these are equals to A minus B. Okay, I don't know why the pain is uh, A minus B times B minus C times C minus A. So now in the denominator if you do the product then you, you will get a b c whole square we have already seen it and on the upper side we have b minus c c minus a and a minus b and on the right side we also have a minus b b minus c and c minus a now you can do some uh, basic uh, crossing here that is b minus c b minus c a minus b a minus b c minus a c minus a so after crossing you can write one here and you can write one also on the right side so that is one by a plus b whole square this is equals to one so from here you can write a plus b sorry a b c you can write a b c not a plus b you can write a b c and here this is also a b and c okay. a b c whole square this is equals to 1 so the value of a b a b and c this should be uh, square root of 1 or plus minus 1 but we have to uh, modulus this the, that is the if you just do the modulus of a b c that will be modulus of plus minus 1 and you will get 1 only the positive number if you do uh, absolute function modulus of any negative or anything you will get only the positive one right so the value of a b c as product is 1 so our answer of this question should be 1 okay so what is the product of the absolute value of, uh, absolute values of abc this is uh, this is one so i think you got the solution and thank you very much for staying with me so far so for more classes uh, you can stay with us and keep practicing for bangladesh math olympiad and i hope i i hope i will meet you inshallah so let's hope for the best thank you very much